Hello again, Wax Nation. DJ Watts back for a look at Ricky Fowler's golf swing. Now, Ricky's had some back issues in the past, and he's worked with Butch Harmon to try to minimize his risk of future injuries. He turned some heads last week with a 61 final round at the Hero World Challenge, and I took a fresh look at his mechanics and saw some encouraging things he's doing and a couple of red flags. First, the parts that cause concern. He is swinging in the modern golf swing style, of course, which is characterized chiefly by the squatting stance and the restricting of the hips on the backswing by not releasing the leading heel, and of course, the ever dangerous twisting of the back to achieve a full shoulder turn. Now, the odd thing is he's actually standing perfectly in the way I would like to see a swinger standing. Here you can see the erect tall posture and the straightish legs with a relaxed upper spine. That is excellent. However, that is not how Ricky swings, as you'll see. He starts to squat before taking the club away, so what was an excellent position from which to swing becomes now a squatting posture on the takeaway, and this helps the modern swingers restrict the hip turn as you can't fully pivot when you're squatting versus standing tall. So he obviously restricts the hip turn, as you can see by the leading heel remaining down, and the result is having to really twist that spine against the restricted hips. And Ricky's a very athletic and flexible young man, but this way of swinging is not sustainable as he ages and loses flexibility, so further changes will be needed in the future to avoid heightened injury risk to the back area. You can see that abrupt change of direction as Ricky reaches the top and the hips change direction while the shoulders are still turning. That exerts even more twisting forces to the spine, and that's just not a good thing to see however flexible a swinger is. So that is a concern for me when it comes to longevity and keeping free of injury. Now there are a couple of things that I see that are encouraging. First, as you can see in this angle, while Ricky is keeping the leading heel down to restrict the hip turn, he is clearly still getting a good amount of turn. Notice the left thigh, what I call the swinging gait, which indicates a turning of the hips. And when you look at his backswing pivot from an up the line angle, you can then see how he's getting some hip turn even with the planted heel. He's releasing that leading foot ever so slightly, enough for you to see a little separation from the ground as he takes it back. And while it's not a mechanically correct hip pivot, he's at least alleviating some of the twisting forces on the back with that slight release, which makes his change of direction at the top not as violent as it would be with that foot absolutely nailed down. Secondly, and you saw me point this out last week in Tiger Woods uh, swing analysis, Ricky is protecting the leading hip and knee as well as the back by releasing that trailing foot through the finish. When you turn the hips fully to the target, you can't do it without moving one of the feet as you would do when you walk. And so instead of jumping or twisting the leading foot as you see so many modern players doing today, Ricky is releasing the correct foot, the trailing foot, and finishing nicely into the left side without straining due to not releasing that right foot. And in addition to getting cleanly onto that left side with the releasing of the trailing foot, you'll see that Ricky's three to nine phase from halfway down to post impact, very quiet, very nice action, good to see. So there are a couple of things Ricky's doing to maintain his physical health, but that restricted hip swing and the twisting of the back will remain an issue with injury risk as he gets on in years. And the simple solution, of course, is to release that leading heel and allow a proper and full hip turn on the backswing to avoid having to twist the back to get a full shoulder turn. Thanks for joining me. You can check out other video swing analyses under Video Swing Analysis over at WaxGolf.com. And I'll see you on the other side.